Hi, I'm Chris at Integrate AV. If you have any questions about what we're covering today, please email us education at integrateav.com.au or you can call us 1800 742 748. In this video, I'm looking at how to create a game show from scratch. You can see I'm using Smart Notebook on my computer. However, I could also create this using the Smart Learning Suite online. And the process of creating the game is exactly the same. So I'm working with Smart Lab. Smart Lab is Smart's gamification piece within the Smart Learning Suite. And gamification, obviously, is adding games and game-like elements to learning in order to boost student engagement and participation. And this particular game, the game show, is a fantastic way of doing this. It's a very lively, interactive game that is sure to boost student participation because the sense of competition that it's using. In order to create a new lab activity, I'm going to find my smart lab icon. And it's this one right here. You can see that it's an alien or a space invader, and it's going to live at the top of the page on my toolbar. So I can see mine right here. In order to create a new one, I'm going to start with a fresh new page. Now, once again, I find my smart lab icon. And when I click on it, it's going to open this window with all of my different game types. These are arranged alphabetically and game show is right here. Now game show uses either multiple choice or true or false questions. Let's say that I've been teaching my students about national capitals. However, these games, like all of them in Smart Lab, are widely applicable to different subjects and different learning areas. But we'll go with my example. Let's start out with a multiple choice question. So let's say, what is the capital of Canada? And now we write some options. So Vancouver, Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. Now, if I leave this as it is, the software is going to recognize Vancouver as the correct answer. So I have to make sure that I click on the button next to Ottawa so it recognizes that as correct. Now, rather than going to next, I'm going to come up here to add question to add some more questions. So let's try a true or false question. Let's say the capital of New Zealand is Christchurch. And now I'll make sure that I have that as false. Now I'm actually going to do four questions because this game is played in two teams. I want to give both teams the correct amount so that they each have the same number of questions. So it needs to be an even number. Let's go to add another question. Let's add a multiple choice. So let's say the capital of Australia is Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, or Canberra. I'll pick Canberra, of course. Let's add one more. Let's do another true or false. And let's say national capitals are always the largest city in a country. And we'll make that false. Now that I've put in all my questions, of course, you can do more than four. I'm going to come down to next. I can review my questions here. I can choose to randomize the order or not. In this case, it doesn't particularly matter. And then when I'm happy with what I've got, I'm going to click finish. Now the software does the rest. Remember that when you're doing this with students, you can always uh, unmute this game here by pressing that button there, and you're going to have some music as well. But let's not worry about that right now. In order to start the game, I'm going to press start. However, you'll notice that a lot of games in Smart Lab have a little icon right here that looks like a mobile phone, and I press this to share the game out with students. The game show is one of the games that you actually need students with you interacting with the board. And so this is an in-person game rather than one that I'm pushing to devices. Okay, let's press start. And here you see a game show. So we're going to spin the wheel just using our finger. And we have two teams here. We have 
the left-hand team and the right-hand team. The capital of New Zealand is Christchurch. Now the left-hand team will pick false and they will get points. Now let's say, uh, it's now the turn of this right-hand team here. Let's say that they get a question wrong. So we're going to spin and here we have a power up, a little bonus. Let's spin again. And we come to our next question. National capitals are always the largest in the country. Let's say true, we're going to get that wrong. And now the next team gets to try and answer the question in order to snatch some points. That brings us to the end of the video. That was how to make a game show in real time. Thanks very much for watching. Please remember that Integrate AV offers extensive training and professional development for teachers. We're a registered NESA provider, and so we can specifically tailor NESA accredited training to your school. If you have any questions or want more information, please contact us. You can email us, education at integrateav.com.au, or you can call us on 1800 742 748. Thanks very much.